Hey everybody, it's Mike, Pro Steel Products. Uh, I know it's been a while since you heard from me, but there's been a reason you guys have been keeping me pretty doggone busy, and I'm not complaining one bit whatsoever. Uh, we've been keeping up with stock, uh, even though we went through some employee changes. Uh, one left, hired two. Uh, things are looking up. Uh, they're, they're doing an awesome job. But uh, your calls and your emails are the ones that inspired me and I wanted to rework these to fit your needs. Because you asked for it, I'm going to give it to you. And I reworked the seat brackets. So these are the, the standard ones that come out of your machine. Uh, it has probably about a six inch travel. Uh, this was the three quarter tilt back. Now you've asked for, uh, a lot of people didn't want the tilt back and that's all I had. And to change this, I would have had to redo the whole computer system to switch this around, build a different fixture and all that stuff to get these to work. So I said, boy, there's got to be a different way I can do this. And I've been working on it for a week and a half now. I've come up with a better way to do this. This standard one, this just uh, tilts you back and you can take the seat out. Every one of these brackets, you can take the seat out really easy. Just by pulling a pin. One of these pins come with it, just one side, put the pin in, that's your stop. You pull that pin out, take the seat all the way forward, and it takes it out. So every one of them pins will come with uh, a new seat bracket. Here's the three inch setback, three quarter tilt back that I had. And you can tell that that's the stock one and there's three inches extra travel down there for the seat bracket. And the bracket itself is a little bit longer. It's probably three inches longer also. But now these are going away uh, because what I came out with does everything these do but even more. And I'm going to explain what more they do. So anyway, here's the three-quarter tilt back. You can tell that it's just a streamline with two brackets. Now I built the, the fixture for these to be welded in the perfect spot. But here's what I want to show you the difference. Look at the size of that gear. Okay? Tall guys, this should excite you. Okay, here was the three-inch setback. Now look how much more you get back there. Okay? It, well, I should tell you, you're not going to get that much. You're going to get that much because the top part where this is longer, that's for the shorter people that want the seat real far up. You got that much more, you can move the seat forward. So this gear is going to be on, this is going to be, the only thing I'm going to change is these brackets for a tilt back, tilt forward, or level. They're all going to come like this. And if you don't want the setback or, you know, the extra travel, I'm going to call these the, the extended travel seat slider. But if you didn't want the extra travel, that's fine. It'll still perform the way it does on the, on the standard slide. You're just not going to use the back half of it. Uh, so it helps us to keep everything in uniform where uh, we can streamline everything and build them a lot quicker. To where we don't have to switch products. This product is always going to be the same. It's going to swap out the, the brackets. Uh, these are going to be released on a, on a pre-sale. So that means that we're building them as we're getting orders and we're shipping them out. Should not take too long. It'll be switched over to inventory product. Uh, <clears throat> of course, we're going to carry <coughs> excuse me, the 10 millimeter bolts for the 2020 and the early 21s. Uh, 21 and a half late and newer is going to be the 10 millimeter bolts. So you're going to have those two options plus three different versions of this. You're going to have the three quarter tilt back. Okay, that's what that one is. And we're going to have the three quarter tilt forward. Uh, I had a couple people ask for this and uh, I was kind of like, well, it, uh, I don't think it'd be that comfortable, but actually I put it in the machine and it's not that bad. Uh, I played with it a little bit. Kind of gets you up on the machine, up on the wheel a little bit. But the angle of the back of the seat, this will go all the way back. So the top of the seat will be against the wall. You, you got plenty. I, 
my feet are I'm not even close to touching the pedals. So if you're a real, real tall guy, you might want to go with this tilt forward and boy, I tell you, you must have some long legs because it's, it's going to be back there a ways. Now with the tilt back, it's probably only going to come to about here, but you're still going to get more than the actual three inch setback because when it tilts back, the top of the seat's going to hit the back of the wall. So now we have the three quarter tilt back, we have the three quarter tilt forward, and here's the other tilt forward, the other bracket, and this one is the level one. So it only lifts the, the rail up like a half inch, if that. I'm going to call it a half inch because it's real close to that. But uh, this is the level one. Uh, you'll have full travel. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to go all the way back. It might be close, but you'll have farther forward and farther, a lot farther backwards. So there's a lot of travel. Let me show you the difference. This is the stock one. This is the new one. Okay, it's like double. All right. So uh, when we fit these, all these are going to be the same. I'm just going to swap out the brackets. So if you have a, a, a new you know, bracket where you want, like, hey, I want three-quarter riser, uh, I can do a custom job and do this real quick. If I get plenty of those orders, I'll add it to inventory. But uh, that's the three I'm going to start with. These are all hand fitted and this is what's on the bottom of your machine on your, your thing and we make sure these go through and everything fits. These are underneath your seat also and we use these to make sure we get the spacing right. Make sure they go all through. Uh, these are going to be available on pre-sale so uh, it shouldn't take us too long because we're building these quick. Uh, to be an inventory product where if it shows in stock, it's going to ship next day. I, you, you guys already know, I got plenty of orders. I ship these out as quick as possible, sometimes the same day, depending on what time of the day you order. So anyway, on these, make sure you keep plenty of lube. They're going to install the same way the other ones do. But this is an OEM rail that got brought up. I, uh, I swapped it out with somebody. And it's, if you can see it, all the powders wore off, and it's like a washboard in there. I mean, it very must have been bouncing around, moving around quite a bit. But uh, pay attention to that and put some lube on these. These, you know, a little bit of lube goes a long way. I mean, I use WD-40 every time I take my seats out to clean it. I squirt it down with WD, and this thing just slides like crazy. But... Pay attention to your rollers also. These are these are cheap. I mean, you can buy them at your dealer. They're only, uh, I don't know, maybe a dollar, dollar fifty for these rollers. Make sure they're not flat or damaged in any way. If you get a little big piece of sand or something, it might start putting a groove in that. But keep them all clean. They'll work great for you. But uh, <clears throat> use your regular bolts and uh, these are available now, so uh, we answered your call. So now you have more options with these. Uh, thank you for watching. We hope to see you in Winrock. We got some really, uh, we're going to change it up in Winrock a little bit. We're going to have some giveaways, and uh, I'm going to change it up a bit and have a, maybe, hopefully, have a surprise for you. So, anyway, hope to see you on the trail. You guys be safe out there. Thanks for watching. And we'll talk to you soon, and hope to see you on the trail.